He was frozen in time, unmoved by the supposed sound of joy. I move, yet I feel still. The notes of his life stunk like leftovers. I am hungry for sweet sounds. My music smells dead. It's never smelled at all. Liar! Overcome mid pain, he refused to dance to the foul stench of the stale notes. Yes, I alone could smell the music. My nostrils danced upon its melodic aroma. If music be the food of love, it must smell as such. Corio Cologne. Smell the music. By long beard Carl. <laughs> Everyone, welcome to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. I'm John. We're so glad you're joining us. That we are. <laughs> In case you're wondering, and I know you are, we like to accomplish several things here at the So and So Show. That yeah, we do. We like to have fun while we talk about the pressing matters in our life. We unpack deep insights. We discover what God has to say about those things. And occasionally, we hit this button. What are you doing, John? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I'm making a mixtape. Ah. You know, apparently back before digital music players and CDs. Oh, hold on a second. Gotta add a little bit of hairband. Just, just a dab will do ya. Yeah. People would make playlists for other people, but put the songs on one of these things. It's called a cassette tape. It's cassette. No, cassette. I think it's uh, French or something. Oh yeah, perfect. Anyway, these playlists were called mixtapes, and it was a big deal to make someone a mixtape in the 1980s. <laughs> oh, oh, I need to add some rock. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, and a little rock egg. <laughs> uh, let them know you valued them and you love them. That's why I'm making this one for you, my friend. Oh, you're making it for me? Yeah! Oh, that's oh, awesome. Oh, I gotta stir it up with some beats. <laughs> oh, spice it up with a couple of guitar picks. Yeah. Super. Hey, how does one listen to this mixtape? Oh, you don't. <laughs> I don't listen to it? No, of course not. Listening to music is limited. Okay. You have to have a cassette player to listen to them. And who has one of those anymore? That's a good point. Yeah. So I'm making mixtapes that I convert into a fragrance. A perfume? Or cologne. You can literally smell the music. Let it linger with you and stay all day. It's called Mixtape de Toilette. Let someone in your life know how much you love them by giving them their own personalized mixtape fragrance. Smell the music. <sighs> <laughs> All right, it's almost done. Woo! Would you like to smell your mixtape? No. It's 70s soft rock. Your favorite. Oh, no. Oh, this is perfect timing. Who's here? Do we have a, someone who knows stuff? No, no. Today we have someone who knows stuff. <laughs> okay. Come on in. Thank you so much for coming in. It's my pleasure. I thoroughly enjoy the show and have always wondered what it smells like. Oh, go ahead and take a whiff. What is going on? I told you, she's somebody who knows stuff. She's a professional. Just as I suspected. I smell humor. <laughs> 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 oh, man, Billy, if you could, please. Oh, of course. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so tell everyone who you are and what you knows. 
My name is Billy Beaker, and I'm what you would call a professional nose. Really, a nose? Mm-hmm. What does is, what is a nose know? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh yeah, okay. Well, a professional nose is often hired by companies to smell things, to make sure they create a certain sensation for the people who are purchasing their product. Oh, so what sort of things do you smell? All sorts of things. I smell candies and gums to make sure they're the flavors they're supposed to be. Wow. I smell candles, air fresheners, kitty litter. Whoa, kitty litter? Yes. You want to make sure it smells like something pleasant and not like something that isn't. <laughs> wow, again. <laughs> but my favorite things to smell are perfumes and fragrances. Oh, really? Yes, perfumes and fragrances are often designed to create a feeling of love and comfort or nostalgia, very powerful thing. Well, <clears throat> I happen to be creating my own fragrance. Oh, how wonderful! Yes, I took the old idea of making someone a mixtape, and I, I, I turned it into a fragrance you can carry with you at all times. Yeah. Oh, oh here, if, if, if you would do me the honor. Smell this and tell me if you can tell what kind of music it is. All right. I smell. Yes. I smell. Uh-huh. I smell what? Poison. Yes. No. Wait. No. That that that's 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 an '80s hair band. No, it's supposed to be '70s soft rock. No, I mean it's actual poison. Whatever this is, this is dangerous. Uh, it's it's a mixtape. No, you should dispose of that immediately. Oh. Uh, okay. Well, thanks for coming on the show today, Billy, and you know for more than likely saving my life. <laughs> You're very welcome. Mm -hmm. And as I always say. The nose knows. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. The nose knows. You put it, uh, yeah, you yeah, 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 but the K is silent. <laughs> oh, yeah. The second one is so awesome. <laughs> Bye. Take care. <laughs> nose. <sighs> nose. I should throw this out now. Hmm. It's Bible story time with Kellen. What up, fellas? How's it going? Great. How are you, Kellen? Oh, awesome. Hey, do you mind helping me tell the Bible story today? Sure thing. What are we doing? Human head puppets? Playing with toys? Stop motion clothes? Ah, uh, candles? Candles? Couldn't think of anything else. Nope. I need you guys to help me out with these. What's this? These are my collection jars. Collection jars? What's in them? Sounds. What? Sounds. You can't collect sounds in jars. That doesn't make sense. Doesn't make sense? I exist in a giant floating orange bubble. Point taken. So... The sounds in those jars could be anything. A piece of dialogue, a sound effect, or whatever. All you have to do is open the right jar when we get to that part of the story. Sounds impossible. Let's do it. Here we go. The city of Jerusalem was crowded with people. Oh, oh. Excuse me. Excuse me. It was a few days before the Passover feast when the Jewish people gathered to celebrate their rescue from slavery in Egypt. Jesus was there too preaching among the crowds. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and soul. Love him with your mind and your strength. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. And the crowds loved what he had to say. <laughs> However, many of the religious leaders did not like what Jesus was saying and made plans against Jesus. I say we arrest Jesus. And then we should kill him. But not during the Passover feast. People may stir up trouble. Jesus and his disciples traveled to Bethany, a small town outside of Jerusalem. They came to the home of a man named Simon who used to have a skin disease. Oh. And they sat down to enjoy a meal together. A woman was there with a special sealed jar of a very expensive perfume called nard. Suddenly, she cracked open the jar 
and the woman poured all the perfume on Jesus. The room fell silent, and a few people even gasped. <gasps> One of the disciples named Judas became very angry. That perfume was worth an entire year's pay. Which was true. She could have sold that perfume and given the money to poor people. Good point. But Judas was only suggesting this because he secretly stole money the disciples collected for their ministry. Then Jesus said something that totally caught everyone off guard. She has done a beautiful thing to me. You will always have poor people with you. You can help them anytime you want to, but you will not always have me. Hold on, what did Jesus mean? Obviously he wasn't saying we shouldn't take care of the poor. Jesus wasn't finished. Oh. She poured perfume on my body to prepare me to be buried. What she has done will be told anywhere the good news is preached all over the world. It will be told in memory of her. Whoa, he's right. Here we are 2,000 years later talking about what that woman did. Yep. I mean, that perfume was worth so much money. It could have been her life savings. I know, right? She was willing to give everything she had to show Jesus how important he was to her. And that, my friends, is how we should show God how important he is to us. By like giving everything we have? Okay, quick, I need to go to the bank so I can give all my money to the church. Whoa, 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 whoa. As appreciative as your church would be, I don't think you have to do that. But I do think God deserves everything we have. Not just our money and our stuff. God deserves all of our time and our talents and our energy. Jesus said, loving God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength is the greatest commandment. Great, so let's do that. I think we should. <laughs> hey, thanks for the story, Kellen. These sound jars are really cool. Oh, oh, what's in this one? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, that's for Daniel and the lion's den. Neat. I could smell the lion's breath. See you guys. Bye, Kellen. Where did the... Anyway, love God with everything we've got. That doesn't sound too hard. I still have questions. Well then, reveal the question. Hmm. How can you show love to God? Yeah, yeah, what does it look like to love God? I mean, it's not like you can make him a mixtape. <laughs> like, eh? You still have that? Yeah. Get rid of that thing, man, it's poison. Right, right. Yeah, it's getting worse. Okay. Think about uh, ways you can show love to God. Yeah, and we'll see you next time on the so-and-so show. It's Bye. starting to melt over here. It's melting the bowl. How cool is it like a horse race or something? Yeah, a horse race? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought it was the ocean. Sorry, it's got a twist. Oh, okay. Uh oh 70 soft rock. Yeah, see? see oh, and should, that's, see, that's what the mix tape You should have given me a sound jar. I don't hear anything. What do you hear? Oh, that's the sound of your thoughts. There's nothing. Hey, let me hear. Let me hear. Oh. Oh, that's a smell jar. That's mine. I'm sorry. <laughs>